Hey, what's up, guys? Dylan here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the new album Pax by New York rapper Your Old Droog. Alright, Pax is Your Old Droog's uh, second full length studio album, and he also has, I think, around three EPs out. And with this album, uh, I feel like he delivers a really kind of dusty, gritty, sort of dirty feeling hip hop album. It's really influenced by, like, you know, 70s soul music and uh, rock music especially, uh, which is most notable on songs like uh, Help and Winston Red, which Winston Red basically feels like a rock instrumental, uh, just with a rapper over it, with him rapping for around five minutes pretty much straight. Now, most of these tracks, um, though they are very influenced by like progressive rock and just rock from the 70s and soul, uh, most of them are very laid back instrumentals other than the song Help, which features uh, Wiki and Eden. Now that song's a really like fast paced and kind of in your face uh, instrumental. And it also features a really, really cool um, Frank Zappa sample in the, in the hook. And it, they fuse it with a Rob Bass sample from It Takes Two, which was a really interesting and cool thing they did in the hook. Now I do want to point out that uh, though it is like New York rap and it, it sounds like New York rap, like you can tell it's New York rap, it doesn't just sound like, oh, that's another New York hip hop album. You know, it does, it does have kind of a different vibe to it. When it comes to Droog's uh, performances and his lyrics on this album, I really like them for the most part. You know, he tackles some more serious topics, uh, some more like socio political topics, for example, on uh, GKAC. You know, he kind of tells a story of a guy who is basically down on his luck and he basically feels like he needs to kill a cop. That's the title, Gotta Kill a Cop. And it's basically a story of he kills a cop, then he goes on the run, and then he eventually gets to the point where he can't face it anymore and he you know, kills himself. One of the really cool uh, things about that song, GKAC, that he did lyrically was in the first verse he mentions that the person in the story refers to his Blicky as Nikki, which his gun he calls Nikki. And you know, after he goes on the run and everything, he realizes he's kind of lost and he's gonna he's gonna be arrested and he's gonna have to face the time and everything. He basically gives up and he says, knowing he's down for the crime, uh, he presses his lips against Nikki's one last time. I, I really thought that was a cool way to connect, you know, the beginning of the story to the end and sort of tie everything together. One of the other more serious, more interesting songs uh, lyrically is a song called You Can Do It, which has three verses and it tells the story of like three different people. And in the first verse, he talks about uh, a friend that he used to have that was really good at basketball and he could have made it into the NBA and could have been a pro. And he made some wrong decisions, you know, and ended up basically screwing himself and not being able to you know make it big and all that then he talks about a girl who basically tries to use her looks for everything and never tries to really um, gain any real skills she just wants to get get by you know being like a model and just using her looks for everything without really being capable of anything else and then the the last verse talks about a, a rapper who basically never really got like a big break and, you know, at this point he's kind of washed up. And basically the, the whole idea of the song is some people aren't made to do what they want to do. Like they have a dream of doing, you know, being a rapper, being a basketball player or being a model, but they're just not cut out for it. And it's, it's kind of a cynical take on it, but really it's a more realistic take. Like, you know, you're not fit for this. So and another sort of like socio-political or socio-economic issue he talks about is like race issues. Uh, he doesn't tackle this like super head-on, but in the song uh, "White Rappers," he's basically saying like, "Yeah, I'm a white rapper, but that doesn't change the fact that I can rap with the best of them." And he's kind of trying to prove to those people who uh, say like, "Oh, you're a white rapper, you shouldn't, you know, be in this in this game or whatever." He's he's kind of going at those people and saying like, hey, I'm you know I can do this too. Just because I'm white doesn't change the thing. Now, it wasn't all serious on the album. He did manage to throw in quite a bit of comedy, 
uh, in the lyrics. For example, like on the song uh, Bangladesh, he has a line about basically his sort of like rap enemies, like the people who are his competition, basically, you know, chasing Pokemon while he was making sure his bars were as good as they could be. Um, he also has a couple of good lines on the song uh, White Rappers, uh, like, and one of the, the more humorous tracks to me, not necessarily just based on listening and the lyrics, but more of a, you know, visual thing in my head is a song called Rat Man, which is the story of a superhero named Rat Man who, you know, has a cape and a mixtape, and he's here to save us from all, like, the, you know, the whack rappers, the guys who shouldn't be out here, and he's kind of calling all the whack rappers out in this song, and I can really see a pretty funny music video for Rat Man. Now, as far as uh, features go on this album, I thought he had some good features. He had Danny Brown on the song uh, Grandma's Hips, which was, that was one of the better tracks on the album, I thought, and I thought Danny's verse was really good. He had some funny lines in there as well. Uh, he had Heems on my personal, personally my favorite song on the album, Bangladesh, which the way they basically worked together on that on that song was really cool how uh, Droog's rhyme scheme at the end of his verse bled into uh, Heems' verse. I thought that was really cool. Um, then he had Wiki and Eden on song Help, which uh, Eden's verse was like really good, but it was really short. It was like over like that. So that kind of, you know, yeah, but it was, it was a good verse. And then Wiki's verse was okay to me. It was just kind of obnoxious, sort of, you know. And then uh, the last one I want to talk about is a guy named uh, Chris Crack. I'm not familiar with him, but he was on uh, Justin Interlude, which really... I've come around on that song, but it's probably one of the more forgettable songs, to be totally honest with you. All in all, I, I really enjoy this album a lot. Uh, you know, It's just some really good, uh, gritty, underground New York hip-hop. And I feel like a Droog, you know, he's just really good on this, um, this album. I feel like you know, when it comes to his lyrics and his performances, I feel like he knows his place in hip-hop at the moment. He knows he's still underground. He knows he's not, like, he hasn't blown up or anything. But he's, like, really confident in his abilities, and he's, he's really confident that he's going to come up, he's going to blow up, and you know, he's going to be a really well-known rapper. And, you know, we'll see if that really happens, but I feel like he knows he has something to prove still. And he he's like, okay, you know, I'll do that. And he talks about that on, like, the song Rap Man and White Rappers and... Uh, I only, um, the second song on the, the album, he talks about that kind of thing. And so, yeah, really, I really enjoyed this album. Uh, I'd probably give it around a seven and a half. Yes, I'm, I'm going to go decimals, 0. 0.5, 7.5. Uh, it was, it was, it's a really good album. I'm not sure if I'll be listening to it, you know, a year from now, but for right now, it's, a really good album. I would definitely recommend checking it out if you like hip hop and especially if you like New York hip hop. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Have you guys listened to the album yet? Uh, if you have, leave a comment down below. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll talk to you guys later.